yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, I hate the guy's kid. No, I got nothing to do today. Sure. Okay, anyways, yeah. Nick, Bella, your turn. Have a seat. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Just come next Friday. No, next Friday, yeah. I'll be here between uh, 8 and 4, except for about 10.45 till 3, but then I'll be back at 2 for about 20 minutes or so. Just come whenever you want. doesn't make a difference. Just come whenever you want. Yeah. No, I got my new phone from the uh, fancy new computer phone store across the street. No, I'm not actually on it right now. No. No, 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 I'm not on it right now. Smart? I don't know how smart it is. I mean, it's a phone. For Christ's sake, what do I know? I don't know if it makes phone calls. I, 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 to be honest with you, I have no idea. OK, it's not a big deal. Anyways, all right, David, just come Friday, OK? OK, buddy. I'll see you then. All right, ciao, ciao. Ciao, 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 ciao. Hello, you still there? Hey, don't forget your mother's birthday's coming up, all right? OK, and David, do me a favor. Please, say hi there for me, will you? OK, all right, David. OK, ciao, ciao. Nick, what the hell are you doing? All right, Nick. So what are we going to do today? Usual? Actually, I was thinking about changing it up a bit. Oh, yeah? Yeah, maybe a little something like this. What's this? David Beckham. No, I know who this is, but what is this? What are you, why are you showing me a picture of David Beckham? I was thinking I'd get a haircut like David Beckham. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's hilarious, Nick. You're really funny. You're a funny guy. I forgot how funny you were. I mean, no, seriously, what are we going to do? Usual? No, I would like the Beckham, uh, please. You're serious? Yeah, well, yeah. David Beckham is a world-renowned athlete, superstar, male model, international sex symbol. With a career spanning over 20 years and over 19 major trophies, he's responsible for six Premier League titles, has accrued over 115 caps for his native England, including three World Cups, two European championships, was appointed officer of the most excellent order of the British Empire. And let's not forget the simple little detail that the man is married to a Spice Girl. Now let me ask you, what have you done? Well, I... Exactly, I can't give you that haircut. Come on, Frank, you're being ridiculous. I'm being ridiculous, okay. Stuart, Bella, can you come here for one second, please? Yes. Thank you so much. Nikki here is asking for a Beckham. Is he joking? Are you joking? No, I'm not joking. What is the big deal? It's just a haircut. Just a haircut? Just a haircut. Just a haircut. The Beckham, otherwise known as the Pompadour, dates back to the late 50s when a man's haircut was his dominant calling card for his perceived level of personal success. Beckham's personal stylist saw that he possessed the unique physical attributes to not only reinvent the style, but modernize it. The result was spectacular. It redefined who Beckham was, not just an athlete, but a sex icon. The industry hasn't been the same since that day. Everything changed. Everything. Everything. I mean, it's not just a haircut. This is a lifestyle choice. A lifestyle choice. All right, guys, I got a date tonight. A pretty girl, way out of my league, came up to me and introduced herself to me on a street bench. When does that happen? It's like he don't get it. Nick, there are two types of haircuts in this world, all right? Beckham's haircut accentuates and highlights his many positive attributes. Now, given that you lack said positive attributes, the best we can hope for is a cut that minimizes the impact of your deficiencies. Mm. What, what, what? Your cut has to offset your asymmetrical face, cover the birthmark by your left ear over here, and draw people's attention away from your misshapen cranium. It's not misshapen. And you need to cast a shadow over your receding hairline, manage this disgusting cowlick, and draw people's eyes to the peripheries of your head and away from the front area of your face in general. You gotta work with what God gave you, Nick. Painting a Chevy red and calling it a Ferrari ain't gonna fool anybody. <laughs> Guys, I'm just trying to get a haircut. All right, you need more proof? Okay. Zoe, Bella, can you come here for a second, please? Just give me one second. <clears throat> What's up, Frank? What did your client ask for when she came in today? A Beyonce. See that, Nick? See that 60-year-old woman over there? Probably the oldest, whitest woman I've ever seen in my entire life. Came in here asking for a Beyonce. Some people are so ignorant. Mm -hmm. I can't let her walk out of my establishment like that. I got a reputation to keep, Nick. Zoe, what did you do? Well, I smiled politely and proceeded to give her a Bette Midler. Ooh, a la Hocus Pocus? I was thinking more beaches. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Much more appropriate. Okay, so this is a joke, then. The three of you are playing a joke on me. Hey, did you do Jennifer? Huh. Jennifer? No, I can't. Tell him. Who's Jennifer? No, I, it's, it's too soon. I'm too close to the subject. I guess... I don't understand. Jennifer. Who is Jennifer? It was the summer of 96. Women from all corners of the earth were walking into salons asking for 
the Rachel. Rachel? Women of all shapes and sizes thought that they could be transformed into Jennifer Aniston with just a few snips. Okay. Hairdressers couldn't say no. There was just too much money in it. Too much demand. I put my second kid through college from the tips of Rachel alone. But I regret it. I regret everyone I did. But why? I diluted the cut. Half America was walking around with the Rachel. What do you think happened to the real Rachel? Brad left her. Her career tanked. Rom-com after rom-com, no one would take her for a serious actress. I blame myself. He's too hard on himself. Although, they do send that there would have been five more seasons of Friends had hairdress has been more responsible. All right, guys, I did not mean to cause a problem here. I just wanted a simple haircut, so. <laughs> Ooh, you know what we could do? Of like a preteen beep. Ooh, no. that would cover up your protruding brow. Or a Galapagos. Yes, the beard alone would cut down on visibility by like 70%. Or we could go full Sia for 100% coverage. Yes, yes. Classic cousin it, I love it. You know what, let's do before and after photos. Nick, you gotta check out my new phone I got over at the computer phone store across the street. It's got a camera, you believe it? All right, you know what? I have a date tonight, okay? If you're not gonna give me the Beckham, I'll just go right on over to Salon Plouche. Salon Plouche? Those goddamn butchers? Nick, you wouldn't do that. Yes, I would, Frank. I need a change. I have been getting the usual for 30 years, and guess where that's gotten me? Nowhere, as usual. Despite what you may think, Nick, this haircut's not gonna make you happy. What are you talking about? Every day people walk in here, everyday schmucks like you and me, and they think a haircut's gonna make them happy. They think a haircut's gonna make everything better. Today you get the haircut, tonight you get the girl, tomorrow you get the promotion. And maybe for a little while, yeah, things are a little bit better. But sooner or later, Nick, your hair starts to grow back. And then you realize you're nothing. You're no one. And all you wanna do is get another haircut. But you can't, cause you just got a haircut. So now you gotta wait, and wait, and wait. Because once you get that other haircut, everything's better again. And on and on and on and on it goes until one day you wake up with no hair and then you die. But it's all a lie, Nick. Because the haircut doesn't define the man. The man defines the haircut and that's why you don't deserve this haircut. I want you to listen to me, Nick. I want you to listen good, I want you to listen hard. I want you to go out there, Nick, and I want you to be better. I want you to be the best version of you. Go out there, Nick, work. Get a promotion. Learn another language, travel the world, become cultured, join a band, lose 10, 15 pounds, impregnate a Spice Girl. Live, Nick. Live like you've never lived before. And you do all those things, you come back here, then, then and only then will I give you that haircut. You know what's ironic? He's actually an excellent soccer player. 